Hello, facilitator, and welcome to module three. This is the health and hygiene module for our girls, for girls empowerment. This is a module that is very important, yet very delicate conversation to have with our young girls. Now, they rem remember that they're in the fourth and the fifth grade. So they're a little giggly. They're just learning to understand that they're a young lady and their bodies are growing and changing every day. Some of them will be shy in this conversation. Some of them will giggle their way through it. And others will be bold and ask transparent questions about their body and development. So we are going to share our screen once again so you can take a look at the curriculum now this is a two-page curriculum that you can print out again and use for your own notes let's take a look at the questions that will be discussed now as you know again start your workshop with your roll call your girl inks bill of rights ask them to share one great thing about themselves as well as any special announcements that you need to discuss and so this again is a workshop that you can use with the dry erase board you can keep this as informal to have it as a general conversation what worked well in our course is that again we use a large post-it note and we divided the groups into two to four young ladies we asked the girls to draw a line down the middle and across to divide that large post-it notes into four quadrants. The four quadrants are good hygiene, bad hygiene, what are ways that we can take care of our body, and who can we talk to about hygiene? And so a great way, again, to get them interactive, get them participating in a, as a team so it doesn't always feel like a lecture or that they're in a classroom environment, give every girl a marker or a highlighter to empower them to write down their own, own information. So you'll set the timer for three minutes. You can use your smartphone or you can use the uh, clock that's in the room. And so you ask them and you give them examples of what good hygiene is and what does hygiene mean to them. And so good hygiene could be things of drinking water or getting enough rest or brushing their teeth or a using deodorant or taking a shower every day. Examples of bad hygiene would be not to brush your teeth every day or not to change your socks every day or bad hygiene uh, may be not brushing your teeth after a meal. And so you also wanna to talk to them about what are ways that we can take care of our bodies. One of the things that we can tell them and encourage them is to get physical exercise. We're living in a time where electronics take up a ton of time with young people. And even though that, that screen time may be educational, we wanna encourage our girls to take a walk or run or participate in sports. If there are girls that are possibly experiencing some weight issues, to encourage them to get out and be physically active is tell them to walk a half a mile. Take whatever their smartphone or with their parents or on their bike and to go a half a mile and then come back. And that encourages them and then empowers them to run or walk a mile a day or ride their bike a mile a day. And then we wanna ask them to think of people who they can talk about with their hygiene. Again, this is a sensitive time for young girls, so they may not feel that they have people to talk to when in actuality that they do. So encourage them that they can talk to their mom, that they can talk to their sister, that they can talk to their aunt, they can talk to the school nurse. Some of our young ladies are living in single parent families where they may be visiting their father for the weekend. And so you want to encourage the girls that if they are stepping into womanhood and they start their cycle, to make sure that they're empowered to tell their aunt or their dad's wife or their dad's girlfriend or call their sister or even call their mom to tell them, mom, 
I've started my cycle. And so what that does is that it empowers them so they're not sitting in soiled clothes and they're embarrassed to talk to their father, but encourage them that this is a natural part of life, that they are becoming women and that all women go through this and that they should not be ashamed. And so hygiene is an open conversation to ask them if, that if they have any questions about taking care of their bodies, if they have any questions about who they need to talk to about their hygiene genes of their bodies, that this is a conversation that they should be empowered and not be nervous or scared or embarrassed about the physical changes that are going on with their bodies. Always give them at the end of class that to give them an opportunity to use their own voice. And if there's any similarities or differences within their answers, that you highlight the positive in their conversation. This is a workshop that will only take this one time that you'll have this conversation with them. And if there are any young ladies that have any questions after this sensitive topic is discussed, make sure that there is a school counselor or you have the conversation with them and the school nurse. So the school nurse can continue the conversation with them after this workshop is done. So this is module one. Make sure that the supplies that you bring to the room is a large post-it note, uh, various markers and highlighters and tape if you need to post it to the wall. You'll be able to walk through discussion questions with them that what does hygiene mean? What does it mean to take care of our bodies? Give them examples of good hygiene. Give them examples of poor, poor hygiene and what are other ways that they can take care of their bodies like regular checkups, going to the dentist every six months and exercising and eating healthy foods. And what is it that we have done periodically in order to stay in school, but most importantly, to stay healthy? And that's getting immunization shots and reminding students that it may hurt just a little bit, but you'll make sure that everybody goes through it and that they're healthy and this keeps them to be an active young lady. And then ask them who plays sports and encourage them again that sports are a good way to take care of their body and encourage them to don't grow alone and to take classes with their, their friends, whether it's swimming or bike riding or kickball or jump rope or chasing each other or skating or outside playing chalk with hopscotch. So these are some examples that you can use with your workshop. So this is module three, health and hygiene that you will discuss with our young ladies. If you are dealing with a sensitive topic that you don't know the answer to, make sure that you connect with your Girls Inc. headquarters in order to get the most effective and positive resolutions of how to address those sensitive topics with our girls. This is module three health and hygiene with girls empowerment. See it in module four.